Matt Damon says he didn't help kill a story about Harvey Weinstein's inappropriate behavior over a decade ago, and promises to be vigilant in outing sexual misconduct when he sees it. In a new interview with Deadline, the Oscar winner, 47, said that he would never, ever, ever try to kill a story like that. I just wouldn't do that. It's not something I would do, for anybody. Weinstein famously championed Damon and Ben Affleck's 1997 film Goodwill Hunting, which he produced and distributed through his former company Merrimax. Affleck and Damon too took home an Oscar for the film, which they wrote and starred in together. Amid the mounting revelations of sexual harassment or abuse against Weinstein, the rap founder Sharon Waxman on Sunday claimed Damon and Russell Crowe meddled in a 2004 story she was writing for The New York Times about behavior by Weinstein and the, the head of Miramax Italy, Fabrizio Lombardo. Waxman claimed Damon and Crowe called her directly to vouch for Lombardo. Her story was ultimately killed by the neat. Damon confirmed the call with Waxman to deadline but said Weinstein only told him that Waxman was writing a negative story about Lombardo, and asked him to vouch for Lombardo professionally. Pinterest Harvey had called me and said, they're writing a story about Fabrizio, who I knew from the talented Mr. Ripley. He has organized our premiere in Italy, and so I knew him in a professional capacity, and I'd had dinner at his house, said Damon. Harvey said. Sharon Waxman is writing a story about Fabrizio and it's really negative. Can you just call, and tell her what your experience with Fabrizio was? So I did, and that's what I said to her. Added the actor, as I recall, her piece just said that Russell and I had called and relayed our experience with Fabrizio. That was the extent of it, and so I was very surprised to see it come back. I was never conscripted to do anything. We vouch for each other, all the time, and it didn't even make her article.